Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to connect uh, one of these two lever switches. Uh, these are just two examples of them. This is just a normal one-way two lever switch. Now if you open up a two lever switch box in the wall, what you'll see in uh, my country is usually an earth wire, the green and yellow one, and uh, probably some uh, red wires. Now with a two lever switch normally there, there's three wires, sometimes there's four. You can even have the neutral wires coming down to the switch as well. So uh, what you need to do if you have the neutral wire, usually there's more than one, just connect the black wires together. So the neutral wire goes to the lights and then the black wire comes from your DB or from another switch. So just connect these two together. The earth wire can be the yellow and green one, or it could also be the bare copper earth wire. So uh, then you know it's the earth. And uh, some switches do not have an earth terminal connection point because they're all plastic. Then just connect all your earth wires together. Some do, like this uh, crab tree model, and uh, just connect all the earth wires to the earth to the earth terminals. Okay, so now with the red wires, sometimes you're lucky and you maybe have one red and two different colors, let's say a pink and a blue one. Then you know your red wire is your live coming from your DB. The other two is the wires going to your, your lights. Or two red wires and two of a different color. But to save money, most electricians don't do that. They just put in the red wires. So I'll show you a trick to uh, figure out which ones are your um, live wire and which one is your return to the lights okay so now I want to find my live wire coming from a distribution box from the DB box in my case it's easy to find because I can just trace the wires but if you've got four wires coming out of the wall it's not that easy to trace easiest way is to just get a multimeter put the one end in your neutral and start testing the points There you can see I have 230 volt on that side. Yeah, so that's definitely my live wire. If you don't have a multimeter, you can always just use a bridge piece and connect between these pieces until you find your live wire that's, that turns on the lights. But uh, in that case, you have two wires that you could suspect is the live wire. So uh, let me show you how to do that. Okay, so I've connected these two and I've switched on the power but uh, none of the lights turn on so immediately I suspect that because I have two lights two wires have to go to the light so I'm suspecting that these two go to the light because these two don't switch on but then I'm also definitely one of them is going to be the live the other one is going to be the live feeding another switch so uh, I have to I have to remember that okay now I switch on the power now I can see the one light is turned on so this one and this one with the ones that did not switch on the light. Now this one is, is switching on the light. So I know that this one is going to be, be my return towards the light. And uh, then this one is going to have to be my live. So putting this one on this one is also going to switch on the other light. Okay, so moving my bridge wire from the live to this wire switches on the other light. So uh, then I know this is my one return. And this is the other return to the lights. This one is my live and this one is probably a bridge to another switch to give another switch a live wire. So uh, let me show you how to connect that. Okay, so now I'm going to connect one of the returns to one of the switch points on the, on the switch and the other one on the other side. And then my lives I want to connect to these two. But I have to bridge these two as well because I have to, have, I have to give both of the switches a live wire. So I'm going to put the one wire in the one side take a wire from that side to that side and then one of the wires goes out on my case I know this is the live wire going in that side and then this one going out to another switch
Okay, so I've connected the one return to the one light and the other return to the other light. And uh, now I'm going to put on the uh, live wires in the middle terminals. Okay, there you can see my connection. The live wire is going in to the one point, the middle point of the switch, then bridging to the other point, and then the live wire is going out to the other switch, maybe in another room. And then if I switch this switch, it's going to close the circuit between these points, giving me power to my return wire to the one lamp. If I close this switch, it's going to close that contact going to the other light. Okay, let's switch on the power. Okay, so I've switched on the power. Let's see. You can see the one switch switches on that light. The other one switches on the other one. If you have a problem that uh, the one switch does not want to switch on, unless the other one is switched on then you know there's a problem with your live wire going that side then uh, you probably had this wire connected to the wrong spot or something okay let me show you how to connect this uh, this type of switch it's basically the same thing also each switch has two points the same as this one so it's exactly the same but uh, let me just show you how it's connected So I got my two returns in there, and then I'm going to put my two lives in. I always use the shortest point. Okay, there you have it. You have the live wire coming in, going to the one terminal, bridging to the other terminal of the other switch, going out to the light, maybe in the next room, going to the switch. And you got your return from the one switch and return from the other switch. One important thing to remember, if you've got more than one uh, earth wire coming into your switch, especially with these normal, uh, plastic switches, they don't have an earth point to connect the wires to. You have to connect these two earth wires together and then put a connector block or something on there and so that if there is something on the next room maybe that switch on the wall is one of these metal switches and you don't connect these two to together you're going to break the circuit of the earth to the switch and if a problem does occur these contacts can become live if you don't have the, the earth connected so make sure you've got the earth connected even if there's no connection on these switches for the earth make sure the earth wires are connected okay guys thanks for watching i hope you learned something